This is our crop of yakon, or Peruvian ground apple. They're actually related to sunflowers, and when they come into flower, they'll have small yellow sunflower-like flowers. They grow really well in a deep, humus-rich soil. They do like a sunny position, and they do like a good bit of moisture. They don't like frosts, and they don't like extreme cold. So, you can grow them in the ground, or you can grow them in a container. We're in a less than ideal climate for growing the yakons, but they do grow very well for us here as we don't get frosts. The edible part is the tuber, and we'll dig a plant up to show you what they look like. So this is the rhizome, the top part, the new shoot coming out of it, and that's the part that we're going to cut off and plant for next year. These are tubers, this is a larger tuber. If we'd left this plant in the ground for another month, the tubers would have developed a lot more. If we'd lived in a warmer climate, they'd also be bigger. However, each year, out of our patch, we get a good crop of yakons. We'll remove the tuber and we'll show you what it looks like. That's your classic yakon tuber. We'll wash it up and show you what it's like and then we'll tell you what you can actually do with these wonderful tubers. Here we have our tuber, we've cleaned it up a bit and there's a number of things that you can do with the Yakon. You can cut it up and slice it and eat it fresh. It goes really well in a salad. However, the Yakon is also used to make a syrup and it's also used to make a powder. It's used as a sugar substitute. The powder is used as a natural sweetener and you can use that in baking um, or just about anything you like. The syrup that's extracted is a lot sweeter than the powder. The Yakon plant itself has been grown throughout the Andes for hundreds of years. And in South America, they tend to eat it as a fruit. Sprinkle a little bit of lemon juice on it, a little bit of honey, and it makes a wonderful dessert. The foliage can also be used to wrap other foods in for cooking. What we tend to do is to get a bowl of water with some lemon juice squeezed into it, and then we'll peel the yak on. You can see once it's peeled, it has a sort of translucent look to it. Then we slice them up, put them in the lemony water. The reason we put them in the lemony water is it stops them from turning brown, which is one of the few problems that the Yakon have. When we're ready to put it into our salad, we do it just before we serve the salad and serve it up fresh. Everyone seems to like them, a really crunchy texture. We'll just taste one. And I'm going to revise my opinion of the taste. Probably like a cross between a watermelon and an apple. So there you go. Yakons. Easy to grow as long as you're in a frost free climate and have a nice deep soil to grow it in. Remember, you can also grow it in a container. Now that we've removed the tuber, what we need to do is to trim the plant up so that we've got the rhizome ready for replanting. We'll take off the stem. And we'll remove these small tubers as well. And that's what you're left with. You can replant that with the growing tip here, just at the surface. Make sure you've got it in a good humus rich deep soil or in a container with similar conditions. Keep it moist. They have a fairly long growing season, but if you plant them early enough, you too can have yakons by the end of next summer. Good luck with growing your yakons, and remember, if you want all the information about how to grow vegetables, both common vegetables and perhaps rarer things like yakons or even ashitaba, subscribe to the YouTube channel. 
for all the up-to-date information. Good luck with your gardening.